My name is Greg Heffernan, a.k.a. Cosmo D. We are in Brooklyn. We're in East Williamsburg at the Devotion Gallery on Mauser Street. I just made some new Max for Live patches, and those patches I wanted to share with the audience tonight. How many Max for Live devices are you using in this particular project? A lot of it was me just taking stuff that came with Max for Live and messing with it, trying different things, and making it work for, for specific things I wanted to do. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two Max for Live effects that I've used to creatively expand my sound manipulation of my cello in Ableton. One of the things I'm using comes right with Max for Live, right out of the box. It's called this all backwards effect. I'll play the sound now. And basically it takes the sound and it uh, it's another variation on the buffer shuffler. It basically makes everything go backwards. And when I want to kill that, I just turn that off. That's a nice all backwards effect if you want to have an instant reverse sound in your live set. This is an effect I made. This is called the Sequence Gator. And what it does is it uses a buffer shuffler, but it's hidden from sight because I don't need to see it here. And it basically takes eight discrete segments of the loop and allows you to mute them like a gate sequencer, so check it out. So you get some nice, really rhythmic gating effects happening. But you can do some nice, cool combinations of sound. This is something I made myself, messing around with a preset like All Backwards. Live hit the software scene and I fell in love with it because it was so easy to get live cello playing ideas into my songwriting really quickly and fluidly. And then Max I got into through the Max for Live partnership that they made in late 2009. A Max device is like an audio plugin that you would put in your audio track of Ableton or your MIDI track, but you can open it up and you can edit the inner workings of these devices. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook. Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.